there I was, sitting on my chair, and they came to me and said, Anton, you're a professional. The project needs your help. We need you to make another Fletcher, but you promised this will never happen again. Your new Fletcher will be called Chang Mu. People play World of Warships all around the globe, and Asia is no exception. We have many players in China, the Philippines, Thailand, and other countries of this region. Of course, everyone wants to play with ships of their nation. That's why we're releasing a branch of Pan-Asian destroyers, which includes ships of different nations. I'm sure that Asian players will like it the most, but others will certainly find something interesting about it too. If you prefer to be highly active on the battlefield and like being in the vanguard, then you might want to try out the new branch of Pan-Asian destroyers. This branch is quite special. You can call it multinational or regional. Usually, every naval power has its own shipbuilding traditions. However, in the case of the Pan-Asian fleet, they don't have such traditions. Because at that time in history, the countries represented in our branch simply didn't have their own shipbuilding. China, Korea, even Thailand had their own ships. Not that they built them. There are many ways to obtain a ship. You can buy one, receive it as a gift, or as the spoils of war. A Thai prince brought a destroyer from England. He didn't just bring it, he literally piloted it back home. So all the owners of puny luxury yachts would look on it in envy. This man had his own destroyer. Asian countries received their warships mostly from major naval powers. Those were the United States, Great Britain, or the Soviet Union. In addition, they obtained some ships as trophies after World War II and destroyers built in the 1940s and later retrofitted them for use with missile weapons. The main problem was preventing the branch from being unoriginal, because the majority of ships in it are bought or obtained from other countries. We've invented some features to make them distinct from the branches that already exist in the game. First, smoke generators were tuned in a way that makes the gameplay of these ships as convenient as possible. And second, we've introduced special torpedoes. Deepwater torpedoes of all destroyers have a long effective range. Even the ex-Soviet ships, which have quite short-range torpedoes in our game, as you may know. The second unique feature of Pan-Asian destroyers is their smoke generators. They have the ability to cover an entire map with smoke for like five minutes. If you're a fan of pastime like this, go ahead. Another peculiar thing about this branch is that smoke generators are the same at all tiers. From tier 8 to tier 10, you have the ability to replace the smoke generator with a surveillance radar consumable. For example, if you play with friends on tier 8 or 9 ships, one can equip smokes, while the other takes surveillance radar, and you'll be able to detect and destroy enemies while staying concealed. At Tier 2 and Tier 5 in the branch, we have destroyers that existed only on paper and were never built. Accordingly, they didn't receive proper names. To address this issue, we needed to contact our Chinese colleagues who suggested a list of names. And we've chosen two of them, Long Zhang, which means Dragon River in English, and Zhanhui, which is the name of an important battle from ancient Chinese history. In general, the Chinese usually name their ships after cities in different provinces. While in Thailand and Indonesia, ships receive the names of historical persons. For example, Phra Rang is a real historical royal dynasty of Thailand. Me personally, I play on battleships. Because I'm an introvert and a bit shy, I prefer to stay in the rear. But if you want heated action, you're welcome to try the new branch. This branch is aimed at Asian players, first of all. 
because there are many patriotic people there who want to play with ships related to the history of their countries. The branch wasn't easy to make. We tested it for a long time, tested new mechanics. We hope that you'll like it. Fellow captains, please subscribe to our channel. Take the new ships out for a spin. Try the modified torpedoes and smoke generators, and we'll see you on the battlefield.